in a school full of smart kids. Chill teachers. And great coffee. We're Cassidy, Joanna, and Julie, and we're here to teach you about how to survive a step. Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Your results may vary. Welcome to the STEM Academy! Woot! Woot! Whether you're a DMS or LMS, this is the place to be. Are you ready to take on STEM? I know I wasn't. Whether you're ready or not, here's some tips to help you survive at STEM. Move, Freshie. <laughs> happen at STEM. Everyone's really super supportive and as long as you don't stand in the middle of the hallways, you should be fine. Your results may vary. Here at the STEM Academy, we have the student commons, which we call the studio. This is a place for people to eat and work during the daytime. the Stuco is a place for people to work. We have couches and tables here and it's a great place for collaboration. This is the recording studio. If you take recording studio and music theory or other music programs, it'll take place in here. Let's take the chorus. This is the main staircase at STEM. This goes up to all three floors, unlike some of the other staircases. This is an elevator room. It has the elevator in here because it's an old building. Uh, this is also a good place to work and eat during lunch. When walking to school, you'll walk in through these doors from the buses, and you will walk past both the girls' and the boys' locker room, and this is where you get changed for gym. Down these steps, there's another engineering lab, uh, the programming computer lab, and lab. Is another way to get out of the school and also another place to work. There's like a whiteboard right here. There's a couple staircases in the school. Some go up from the basement to the second floor. Some only go to the first and the second floor, but staircases. It goes outside and then it goes to the first and the second floor. But just quiet. This is the auditorium. This is the the main area. Here's your office and your nurse right here and the main doors. I'm pretty, I'm pretty here at STEM, we're very diverse, so aka the flags. I haven't worn them. <laughs> this is the knowledge commons, which we call the NOCO. In the NOCO, students collaborate and work on school projects. This is also where the printer is located. We have lockers, we never use them, but you have them just in case. This staircase just goes down to the Stuco and it also goes to the first and the second floor. So that's a good staircase to use all the time. It goes to the basement, the first and the second floor. Uh, it's really crowded during lunch, so I'll try to go over there. So we're coming up on another staircase at the end of the hall. It goes outside, but it does not go to the basement, only the first and the second floor. Also, this is the tech office, if you ever need help with your computer. <laughs> you most likely won't have a lot of classes up here freshman year. Sophomore year, you'll have chemistry and, I mean, you might have language up here or math, but besides that, you probably won't have any classes. Uh, the girls' bathroom. Over here, you can <laughs> eat lunch outside. Here's one of the sta staircases that we talked about before. It goes to all three floors. We're going to go down it now to the base. So down here, um, you turn right, 
he will go into the freshman engineering labs and the wood shop. Uh, this is how you get outside to go eat at the tables we just saw. Um, this is Julie's home. Hey! <laughs> We're approaching the gym. Okay, well this is the gym. Uh, we're not gonna... We can go in. This... Okay, well anyway, this is the gym. Usually there's a bunch of equipment in here that you can work on. They're playing basketball right now. It's a terrible place, never go in. Right now, but that's the, that would be the physics room for next year. <laughs> There are a lot of acronyms in STEM, but I promise you'll get used to them very quickly.